At 83, Sister Maureen Donovan still occasionally visits the classrooms at St. James School, where she spent more than three decades as principal. The rooms today look different than when she arrived in 1967, but the school's identity is something she always made sure remained the same. We tried to make the school as uh, uh, Catholic as we possibly could, mm -hmm. and uh, we, uh, again, worked very diligently at that. Making the school as Catholic as possible did not end with teaching the faith, even more importantly, Sister Maureen lived it. I never saw so many shoes bought, uniforms bought, food going out of the out of the building to families, uh, helping that helping people get jobs. She would do anything to help the poor. She emphasized traditional Catholic values. They weren't just taught in the school; they were lived out, and that made the school a a community of faith as well as a place to learn. She had a special way of relating to those in need. One of nine children growing up in Northeast Iowa, she herself experienced the pains of poverty when her family lost their farm during the Great Depression. Her love for the poor is, is just overwhelming. It has really helped to open my eyes to, um, to the needs of those who have nothing. A natural ability to identify and help those in need translated well into her role of principal, where upon her arrival she was determined to see that the needs of all students were being met. She was open to new ideas in education. While I was there at St. James, she brought the accelerated reader program into the school and the kids just dove into it. It was a great asset to the school. They weren't afraid to try things. So when something new came along, they explored it. If it looked good, they tried it. And if it didn't work here, they went on to something else. But they weren't afraid to be innovative, which was very good for us. The thing that I always excited me about Sister Maureen was that if it was new and innovative, and if it was an opportunity to open the horizon for the education of children, she put her whole heart into it. Known for her innovation and creativity, Sister Maureen had a unique way of encouraging and bringing out the best in those around her, students and teachers alike. You know what, they always say the Irish are so happy and they have that twinkle in their eye. Sister Maureen has that twinkle in her eye. She's always smiling and she really is a very generous person. She had this bright, the brightest green, you know, veil, I guess is what you call it with a green outfit as well, and she'd wear it on St. Patrick's Day. We always <laughs> look forward to that, and today she still has that, because I asked. <laughs> 35 years in one school as a principal, and you could tell that they had good curriculum and great morale, the kids were happy, and, and just, uh, it was a, she was a great principal. She really is a welcoming, compassionate, a kind of person who would stand out in front of the grade school every morning to welcome all the children to school. Now that really impressed me. I had never seen that done before, so I actually uh, now do that at, over at All Saints. Uh, and that's the kind of person she is. She's very welcoming, she's very gracious, she's very kind. And as the children found out, beneath that exterior, the children knew, don't cross this tomorrow. <laughs> I always tried to have them uh, do their best, that each one do their very best, and uh, hopefully they left here with, with uh, that attitude that they would try their best to be uh, the person that they were called to do. An exceptional educational leader, Sister Maureen said it was a student who eventually made her think about stepping down. One day a little boy came to my secretary's office and I was gone away and he looked at her and then he walked in my office and looked for me and he came back to her and he frowned and he said, where's your grandma? <laughs> 
and I thought it was time to uh, look into retirement. And uh, I never, uh, I was, you know, I was 75 at the time, and I didn't uh, look back at all. She may not have looked back, but she didn't slow down. Still serving on home and school and running the parish bazaar, Sister Maureen can be found at the center of almost every parish fundraiser. Um, she helps secure donations for me. She knows everybody. She's either taught them, their children, or <laughs> both. And so um, she's able to call on a lot of the local businesses because she's familiar with the people, and so that has helped immensely. And at the heart of all she does is Jesus. She sees him in the faces of the poor, and acting as his hands and feet in the world, she works tirelessly to secure funds to help those in need. She is so present to other people, and she is so cognizant of their needs and so willing and open to supporting and helping and encouraging people. She had a way of bringing volunteers into the school in a way that was not just beneficial to the school, but beneficial to the volunteer as well. She knew the parish well, and she would look for people that she thought would benefit from involvement in, in the school. I always say to people when I have an opportunity to give them something, uh, do for someone else uh, when you uh, reach a level where you can do that. People don't know a lot of what she does. You know, it, it, a lot of what she does goes on behind the scenes. Like I said, it's just the, the little things, noticing the people least among us. Uh, she is wonderful at doing that and giving them the value that, that they have. Sister Maureen, you're a wonderful person. We, everybody in Bay City loves you. I mean, you can go all over and people will say, if you say Sister Maureen's name, they know her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, God, for being so good. Being so good to us. Thank you, God, for being so good. You have heard many reasons why Sister Maureen Donovan is a most worthy recipient of the Bishop Murphy Award. Her welcoming and innovative spirit, of which there are numerous stories, distinguish her career as an excellent principal and educational leader. However, it is her outreach beyond the school and parish walls that continues to inspire those around her most especially her commitment to minister to the poor in the Bay Area community. I am very grateful that Sister Maureen answered God's call to religious life and that she has used her vocation to live and bear witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ in such a generous and loving way. Sister Maureen, on behalf of all of the faithful of the Diocese of Saginaw, I congratulate you and thank you for your leadership and service. God love you.